Update 1 on Cyclone Kananga in the southwest Indian Ocean, the strongest storm of the season there so far after rapidly intensifying as of 6 a.m. Mauritius time. It is at 15.8 degrees south, 82.8 degrees east. Category 4 storm, 130 mile an hour sustained winds there with a minimum pressure of 952 millibars. Uh, stage 5 on the CDPS scale actually, devastating if the storm were to impact land right now. Fortunately though, it is far out to sea. Um, not really going to bring much harm to people, fortunately. It's more of a fish storm. You can see just the distances. Mauritius, 1670 miles away. Reunion, 1830. And Madagascar's capital, over 2300 miles away from the center of this storm. Even if it were closer, it's a small storm too, so it'd be harder for them to really reach impacts. No warnings in effect because of that. Like you can see, you can hardly even see those islands on this. Uh, it's a bit obscured, but it's there. Uh, far to the north northeast of these islands right now and uh, the bigger risk for them is actually 92s here's the computer model GFS run here lagging a bit behind on Kananga so it'll look like it's weaker than it actually is right now but regardless you can see it's general slow south southwest motion maybe a bit of a curve to west southwest there uh, gradual weakening anticipated from these models for this timeout and then you can see 92s getting pretty close there to Mauritius, uh, but missing to the east, and that, while, 90, while Kananga stalls out really for the most part and dissipates, 92S is going to rock it off to the southeast. Sea surface temperatures, um, pretty flat all around the area, conducive for development, uh, above 26 degrees Celsius, wherever Kananga is right now. Once you get down further south though to where 92S is going to be after a few days, then you get to the 25s and colder waters that aren't really going to be good for development. Here's another look at the GFS model, the wind one this time. Uh, not fully accurate for Kananga again, the models are picking up on it pretty slowly, it rapidly intensified unexpectedly. Uh, so it shows that there's a weaker storm initialized than it actually is. But then you can see their 92S becoming a pretty powerful cyclone there. Uh, passing relatively close to Mauritius, so any shift to the west in that track could bring trouble for those islands while you see the remnants there of Kananga just swirl around as a weak thing. Chance of tropical storm force winds, pretty obvious based on what we've been seeing through this whole update. Zero for Mauritius, zero for Union, zero for Antananarivo. Um, the storm is not going to get close enough to bring any impacts to there, fortunately. Uh, 92S though, again, got to keep an eye out for that one. Computer model again, uh, most of the models are down, so this is the HWRF. Again, the trend of those models not being on the time for the storm. Late to pick up on it. This one has it only reaching Category 2 as its forecast peak, when the storm's already at Category 4. You're going to see this trend through all the models. Uh, we didn't really expect it to intensify this quickly. It certainly is a good-looking storm at this point in time. Definitely worthy of Category 4. Uh, but models weren't really expecting this to happen when it did, so... HWRF says Category 2 as its peak. It's already Category 4. So get some of the satellite imagery quickly as well. Very impressive looking storm right now. Uh, over the past 12 hours, it's really developed into a powerful cyclone. Cold cloud tops wrapping all the way around the storm, as you can see right here. Uh, clear, round, warm eye as well. Pretty symmetrical. Uh, definitely a powerful storm right there. And here's one other shot that we're going to take a look at quickly. Uh, just a good looking storm. And then we're going to take a look at the water vapor quickly as well. Pretty moist air to work with right now, uh, dry air to the south and west of the storm, that's probably what's going to start weakening it as it enters a more stable air mass, but keep a watch on it. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website, force13.com at your service. You can also check out your YouTube page where you might be watching this already. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook, search Force 13 all in text to find us on there, and we're on Twitter, at Force 13, to follow us there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. All contributions are invested directly back into the project to help it grow even better. More information can be found in the description using the link patreon.com forward slash force13. And you can also join us for Tropical Weather Chat. We have our own Discord server. You can use contact fool13 at extension 9094 or use the link below in the description.